Well, as we speak, an online petition is growing, urging parole be denied for a former Collierville attorney convicted of three separate attempted murder plots against his ex-wife. Mm -hmm. Good evening, I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. Now, because of good behavior and work credits, Fred Wartman is set for a parole hearing next month. That's about five years ahead of the original parole date when Wartman accepted a plea deal, which was in late 2015. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is live in Collierville tonight. Brad, how many people have signed this petition so far? Richard and Katina, it's a lot. Nearly 30,000 people have signed that petition since it was launched Monday. And Wardman's ex wife said that shows the support not only here in Collierville, but around the world. Stacey Jones says, out of fear, she now prepares for her next fight, keeping Fred Wardman in prison. There's not a day that goes by that we don't think about what happened four years ago. Stacey Jones still struggles to explain her ex husband, Fred Wardman, to her children. I'm just trying to figure out. How do you live with a dad that tried to kill your mom? In 2015, investigators said Wartman, then a Collierville attorney, tried to kill Jones, his now ex-wife, three times. Prosecutors said Wartman not only poisoned Jones's toothpaste, but tried twice to hire a hitman, one who was actually an undercover TBI agent. Very um, persistent person, and <laughs> we've seen that by his three tries. I don't think that he's going to stop. Now Jones is in a new legal fight, keeping Wartman behind bars ahead of his planned parole hearing next month. I don't know how he would have rehabilitated or healed or changed in four years. Jones also has this online petition behind her, which nearly 30,000 people signed in solidarity against Wartman being released. It's amazing that that many people believe that he should stay where he is. Jones said her crusade isn't about spite against her ex-husband. It's about safety for her and her three children. If he were released, he, I mean, he could show up anywhere. Kids' school, kids' sporting events, um, my house. <laughs> Now, at Fred Wartman's parole hearing next month, four people will speak on both sides, the side to either grant parole or deny parole. Stacey Jones is expected to speak by video conference. She is also expected to be joined by law enforcement and prosecutors. Reporting live in Collierville, Brian Broders, Local 24 News.